is indifference to you? Indifference to me is when something ignores the obviously right thing to do. But for me, indifference is people that aren't concerned. Um, they don't really care. They don't have an opinion one way or the other. They don't really get involved. And they just may not, it's, it's just a lack of interest of what is happening. Indifference to me is not stopping in the hall to help someone pick up their books. Indifference is watching the world go by and not really making note or taking note on an personal and emotional level. Can you give an example of indifference in our society? If I pause for a moment, it's because I think it is showing up in many ways, but there's one particular scenario that recently came to my attention when I turned on my TV at home. I was cooking and the nightly news came on and the announcer stated that in Chicago, I believe it was Chicago, there was a molestation or rape that occurred. Now, rapes can occur somewhere on the planet all the time. But what made this horrific to me is that it was on Facebook and that the people in were performing this horrific act on Facebook Live and no one called or sent a text to the police or anyone to give assistance to the victim. That to me is a form of extreme indifference. An example of indifference in our society would be not many people go out to vote because they're indifferent about the government. There is indifference as far as, you know, the Syrian refugees and climate change and violence and the gun problems and things like that that are happening on a daily basis in our society. I also feel that injustice happens frequently and discrimination where people just really don't have an opinion and for instance, you may see someone, we, fortunate we don't really see that here, but I have lived in New York City and you know, you can see someone get beat up and people just walk by or something getting robbed, people just walk by. You know, it's that lack of getting involved and the lack of concern. An example of indifference is when you're going 80 on the highway and the speed limit is 60. What is something not well known in our society about indifference? If I don't care about what happens to you or your family or the neighbors next door, after a while, it becomes a part of who I am, part of my DNA. And it will manifest within my own inner circle and it will eventually manifest in how I treat myself. People don't vote because they don't think it matters when it actually does. And only around 50% of Americans actually go out and vote in elections. It's interesting how things that we've thought about or not thought about, but another instant is the problem with heroin and drugs. And you know, here, yeah, I, I think we all have that attitude. It's not in my backyard, it's not in the vineyard, so we don't think about it. The gun violence, we don't think about it. We're inundated by the news, so you just become immune to it. But now, all of a sudden, it's happening right here in our backyards. And so people are actually starting to become vocal about it. And maybe people that felt indifferent about it didn't know about it 
it's been brought to the forefront. And I think as far as the school goes, I think that's how some of these programs start, which I think is great. You know, the race culture retreat, peer outreach. Now we have swear. That's new a couple years. And again, it's issues that people just, it happens, nobody thought about. And now people are thinking about these things. And I think it's great when things like that come to the forefront and people act and help.